This is my Minecraft world. I started it in the oldest version of the game and have been working on it constantly for a few months now. Currently, we have a lighthouse, an island, this massive wheat farm, and a boat floating on lava. It's pretty weird, I know, but all of this was done in a super flat world. And I'm gonna say it, I think this place is pretty cool. Sue me. <laughs> Don't actually sue me, I shouldn't say that. However, with each episode, the world updates, meaning some things are added to the world and some things are removed. Still though, this update might be the most important one yet, solely because of one thing, trading. All right, this is my first time in 1.3. What is going on with the- I haven't actually checked anything yet, and this might come as a surprise, but I don't really know what I'm doing most of the time. Anyway, that being said, trading is added. Yes, perfect. And these are all the really old trades as well, so most of these are pretty bad. I had actually been preparing for this update for a while now. I knew that trading wheat would be the best way to get emeralds, so I built up this massive wheat farm specifically for today. And because restocking trades isn't a thing, I can sell all of it right now. Oh my gosh, we have so many emeralds. Dude, this is so good. Now, there are a few things I want to trade for, the first of which is glass. And you might be asking why. Well, the lighthouse I built is actually missing glass at the top. Up close, it does look really goofy, but I did the best with what I had. There really wasn't much I could have used. Bam, there we go. The lighthouse is finished. That's cool. But glass isn't the only new block added in this version. Because of the trade, there were some new blocks I could get. And over the past few days, I've been building up a place to store every single block. A place that I call the Emporium. <laughs> I want this place to have every single block in the game, kind of like a massive catalogue. At the moment, there are some stone, some wood, nether, you know, all the basic blocks. Point is, there isn't too many. But in version 1.3, trading now gives us access to redstone, so we can get so many more blocks. The obvious ones are all the redstone blocks, you know, these are all the ones available to us at the moment. I know it's not much, but it's a good start. There's all the rail blocks, and there's the emerald block. But that's not all. There is still one more thing added in version 1.3. Something so strong it could make the future of this world genuinely so much better. And that thing is the enchanted golden axe. <laughs> and they are craftable. We can craft enchanted golden apples. This is a feature that's actually been removed in the later versions of Minecraft, making these apples incredibly rare to come by. But it means I need to make tons of them now. If you don't know to craft one, you obviously need an apple and eight blocks of gold. Now that's quite a lot of gold. And to get enough gold, I had a few options. I could either go looting, you know, search for a few villages. If I get lucky, it should take maybe four hours, give or take, to get all the gold I need. Or I could build a gold farm. I went with building the sieve trap. That's what this is called. The basic idea is that I start the trap like this, then wait for piglins to spawn. They will fall and die on the platform below, dropping golden nuggets. And I know what you're thinking. Isn't that oak wood? Won't this burn? What's going on, Dom? <laughs> well, this is petrified oak slabs. Look, I've already talked about this earlier. It's just a stone slab that has the texture of oak. It, it's weird, I know, but it doesn't burn, which is good. But what isn't good is that the farm doesn't work yet. And that's because I need to prevent mobs from spawning elsewhere. You see, at the moment, piglin guys can spawn pretty much anywhere, and the chance of them spawning on the trap is pretty low. But we can increase the chance of them spawning by blocking off all the other places for them to spawn. And I can do that by placing more petrified oak slabs. <laughs> Words cannot describe how long I have been placing slabs for. Look, I have slabs over here. I have some on the other side over here. I'm not sure what's going on with that fireball. I ignore that. And I also have some slabs over there. Do you think that's it? Because if you do, you're wrong. If I go up this ladder, you'll see I've placed so many more slabs. This is just, it just keeps going. I never want to do this again. Holy moly, if this took so long. But because of all the slabs, there are zero entities spawning around the farm. This is a quite honestly perfect because it means I've set up the trap in the best conditions possible for optimum gold production so all I had to do was turn the trap on and wait Okay, I'm gonna be brutally honest, this farm doesn't work at all. I have I have no idea why or what I've done wrong. Long story short, I had to ditch that plan completely and I just brought over a load of piglins, killed them all by hand for about eight hours. I finally have enough gold and an apple to make an enchanted golden apple. Oh my gosh. Bam, there it is. Oh my gosh, finally, that took 
I, I don't even know how long that took, but it took a long time. And I'm not gonna use it yet. I'm actually gonna leave it in this chest because I'm gonna save it until 1.4 because in 1.4, the wither is added and I think having a golden apple will really help out and making sure I don't die. Oops. It goes without saying, but I don't think I have that in me to do this again for just one golden apple. So my plan is, and I wanna see what you guys think about this, waiting at least until version 1.5 when hoppers are added, then I can make a much better gold farm that actually works this time and thus get a crazy ton of enchanted golden apples. How does that sound? Please, I really don't wanna do that again. Anyway, I have something more interesting to do first. <laughs> So, if you've seen by the stream title, I'm gonna try to place down 100, not 100, 10,000 blocks, which doesn't sound like a lot, and it's only three double chests. But what I wanna show you is how much I've been mining. By the way, I did all of this yesterday. Look at how much I mined! I mined all of this yesterday. So, the plan is to place down all of this dirt. I don't know how long it's gonna take, but we'll find out. If you're watching this on a video, it won't take long, but if you're here for the stream, you're here for the long run, so... <laughs> Okie dokie, we have been busy. Look at all this land we built up in the stream. We did so much. Now, my plan at the moment is to kind of stop where the water is. You can see it just at the end there. My reasoning is that I want to have mountains all the way around the back, and I'm not sure how I want that to look at the moment, but... I have left this part kind of open, and that is for a reason. My plan is to build some sort of cave or a cove here. I'm not sure how that's gonna look, but that's the idea. So, I'm gonna need a lot, <laughs> a lot of stone. I have finished off the cliff. It has taken quite a while, and I've added in a mini gradient. I say gradient, it's more of a random assortment of blocks, really. But the main thing I built is this cove, which I'm actually going to name. The very fancy name of Cave Cove. Now, if you were here for the streams, you'd know that that isn't a stupid name and it's a very well articulated name that took a long time to come up with and is a very clever name. If you weren't here for the streams and you don't know why I've named it Cave Cove, then I, 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 I guess you suck. I don't know. I have been busy. Look, I managed to build a path going all the way around the area we just made. It's got some grass, some leaves, some fences all the way around. I think it's pretty good, but I'm not planning on doing any trees or, or any more decorations than that, mainly because I plan on putting mountains all the way around here and also all the way around the back as well. And if I were to put trees down, they may get in the way and it, it, it would just be awkward. So. I'm planning on leaving that till later. But there have also been some weird glitches in this version. I'm not sure what's really going on. Iron golems, for example, if I were to hit one of them, they just walk really, really slowly. Like, they, I, I should be dead right now. This should be impossible. Also, the other iron golems don't seem to really care too much, and then they just get bored after a while. But if I hit this guy... Then they go at Mach 10! It's very weird. I'm not sure exactly what's going on and why they're acting like this. Anyway, the other glitch I came across actually happened in the nether. For some reason, I have no idea when it happened, but there were just fireballs now just hanging in the air. I might try and go up to one, actually. Oh, gosh, I might die here. Oh, there we go. Okay, I just hit it. Well, I guess that's that glitch gone. <laughs> the last thing I've been working on is actually inside the cave cove. If I come over here, flick this lever... And wait a second, ba -ba -da -ba! it reveals this little cavern bit. And over here is a wall of the names of every single person who has commented on the previous video and the one before that. So if you commented, you might see your name on here somewhere. I'm pretty sure I got everyone, but there are some spaces. So I might pick out like five, ten comments and put them on behind me. That's the plan. I don't really know. I haven't really thought that much about this yet. Also, there is this wall here. Currently, it's a work in progress. I was thinking like channel member names or donations or something like that, but I, that feels weird to me doing that. I'd rather it be free. I don't really know. I haven't thought that much about this again. I, I really need to think about this. I, I shouldn't. I don't. Anyway, I might try to make this place look a bit nicer because it does look a bit crap at the moment. Anyway, I'm going to close this place down. Oh, that's nice. That's satisfying. So, yep, yeah, I forgot to record an outro. So, um... Like and subscribe!